Danielle, for those with diabetes, the sticker shock at the counter is just one of the concerns when it comes to needed medication. Chris Bryan is live in the newsroom with the way the sky high demand is also impacting patients. Chris. Yeah, Paul, Ozempic, Mizerno, and Trulicity are all popular forms of diabetic medication coming to treat A1C and high levels of blood sugar in diabetics. But now those medications have become an attractive form of weight loss. Uh, I've been told that they've expanded their um, uh, manufacturing processes, uh, but uh, we're not seeing that just yet. Demand is moving faster than supply. You know, right now, if um, there can be shortages in starting somebody on Wagovi for weight loss, because thus those supplies are being primarily diverted to Ozempic. On average, out-of-pocket cost for those medications can be around $1,000 per month for a two milliliter supply. With semeglutide, you could be looking at around $1,300 for a 30-day supply. Uh, it kind of goes back to supply and demand. Now, now that this is a, um, you know, a, a newer generation of uh, medication, and, and with that, uh, we, we do expect it to uh, you know, be a little bit more costly. While initially designed for diabetics, the weight loss benefits made these medications an attractive option for patients. So I would say 95% of our patients are implementing those lifestyle changes. They're using this um, not as a crutch, but just as an aid to help get them through to their weight loss goals. While the increased demand for the dual purpose of the drug. Unfortunately, though, for many patients, these medications are cost prohibitive. Now, the companies do have programs to help offset some of those costs. Right. For patients who qualify, there may be coupon cards. And while cost is one concern, having the product in-house is another. Oh, that's a concern every single day. You know, my, my, my stance is always patient care. Take, take care of our patients as best we can. We've had lots of issues where we're having to play the guessing game of what is in stock today at the pharmacy with these classes of medications. Then there are concerns over whether insurance companies will cover the cost of the medications. Wanting to prescribe a medication for a patient and then have it denied by the insurance company. And so it's extremely frustrating because we know that this medication may have the best benefit for the patient. But it's extremely discouraging when you know it would help them so much, particularly in diabetics. You know, these injectables are doing amazing things for weight loss, hypertension, A1Cs. And we want our patients to be able to have it if that's what they need. And so it is extremely discouraging when they can't afford it. At the end of the day, it's important for patients to remember. You have to be your own patient advocate. You know, you've got your doc, you've got your pharmacist, you've got your care team, you've got family members, you've got friends that tell you what to do, you've got the internet telling you what to do, you've got social media telling you what to do. You have to be your own advocate. Please, please do as much research as what you possibly can so that it's meaningful to you. Now, all the providers I spoke with says it's important to have conversations with your health care providers and your team about the medications you're taking and if you have concerns about your ability to pay for those medications. Also, it's recommended that you only get those medications from a licensed doctor and pharmacist and don't go searching online for discount or off-brand generics. In the newsroom, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.